Recognizing Bias and Stereotypes in Media, A Closer Look Hello, English learners. Today, we're diving deep into the world of media. We'll be exploring how to recognize bias and stereotypes in different forms of media. This is not only essential for media literacy but also for understanding cultural nuances in the English-speaking world. Media literacy is the ability to access, analyze, evaluate, and create media. When we talk about media, it can be anything from newspapers, TV shows, films, to social media posts. It's crucial to be media literate because it helps us understand the messages that the media conveys, and more importantly, the intentions behind these messages. Bias. Bias is a prejudice in favor of or against one thing, person, or group compared with another. It's essential to remember that bias can be both conscious and unconscious. In media, bias can manifest in various ways. Omission. Leaving out crucial information. Selection. Highlighting certain events and not others. Framing. Presenting an issue in a particular light or context. Stereotypes. A stereotype is a widely held but fixed and oversimplified image or idea of a particular type of person or thing. For example, thinking all British people love tea or that all Americans are loud can be considered stereotypes. To identify bias. 1. Check the source. Consider who is producing the content. What might their motivations be? 2. Look for omissions. Are there any crucial details or perspectives left out? 3. Analyze the language. Is the language neutral, or does it carry a particular sentiment? 4. Verify with multiple sources. Don't rely on just one source. Check multiple perspectives to get a fuller picture. Spotting stereotypes requires keen observation. Here's how you can do it. 1. Generalizations. Does the content make general claims about a particular group? 2. Repetitive patterns. Are certain groups consistently portrayed in specific roles or situations? 3. Challenge assumptions. Ask yourself, is this representation based on facts or common beliefs? 4. Engage in discussions. Talking with others can help you identify and challenge stereotypes. Recognizing bias and stereotypes is vital because it promotes critical thinking. It allows for a deeper understanding of media messages, helps in recognizing misinformation and manipulation, enhances cross-cultural understanding and communication. That's a wrap for today. Remember, media has a profound impact on how we perceive the world around us. By developing the skills to recognize bias and stereotypes, we can become more informed and open-minded viewers. We hope this video has shed light on these vital aspects of media literacy. Keep watching, keep learning, and always question what you see and hear.